Whoa, I don't want to go that way. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, citizens of Gotham City, and welcome to another horror playthrough. Today, we're playing Mannequin Hessler Storage. Heard good things about this game, been meaning to play it for a while. Here we are. Okay. Seems fair, I guess, to ask me. And then, after hours. Looks like the renovation team are progressing well up here. Yeah. Frank said it was on the lower ground floor. I wonder if there's an elevator I can use. Lower ground floor, eh? Elevator. An elevator. Great. <laughs> Out of order. I don't have a flashlight. Looks like I'm taking the stairs. I don't want to take the stairs, though. Somebody should take a look at that light. Oh. I have a lighter. That's fun. At least I have some sort of light. Oh, that's creepy. I must have gone the wrong way. Okay. Close the door. Okay. There wasn't a door there before. No, there wasn't. Ooh. Okay. Test right. the lights. I best turn these bloody lights on then, hadn't I? Yes. Uh, work anything at all, huh? Anything? But cans of sodi. Looks like the electrician has been called in because the light's not working. Professor Shaw, I've left a torch on the table for you to find your way around. Symbol is on this floor. Take the first left, then the first right, straight, then right. Oh my god, okay. First left. Ignore the flickering light, then take the... F okay. Left, right, straight, right, right. Left, right, straight, right, right. Follow the arrows. Yeah, I'm gonna forget that. Bloody useless. Gonna go left. It's a bit dark in here. Good job I've got my lights. Right, right, straight. And right. No, then it's right. I knew it said follow the arrows, but is that what the notes said? Strange symbol. This. This is Isla's stone. I wonder what that means. I've never seen one that big before. Frank never said anything about it being damaged. Looks like it's cracked the symbol too. I don't know if that's bad or good. It'll be a straightforward heritage marking. It does look familiar. I think I'll need to do some research back at university to identify this. Okay. Mm-mm. 
No, no, thank you. Ooh. Oh, oh, shit. God damn. I don't want to go that way. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me out. Oh Jesus Christ. Hello there. This is not the right way. This is not the right way. I'm very confused. We go this way. Yeah, this is this. Is, uh, remove. This is where I was, right? Yeah, this is the exit. Okay. Wait. What just happened? What happens to the lights? Yeah. Turn on the generator. I could probably get them back on using that electrical unit I saw near the way in. What electrical unit? What are these? Okay. Where... Where am I right now, though? Nothing. Maybe there's another one. Okay, there's another generator. Wonderful, isn't it? Oh, the note on the way in said there was a maintenance room on every floor. Maybe I should check there. Okay. Let me check the... <laughs> no, thank you. Stop moving the fucking mannequins. Yeah, that's that goes for both of us. Just trying to find my way out here. Okay, I need to look at this map. Okay. Generator one is here. Generator two is left, then right. Left, then right. Gaze upon thy own image, those who can behold upon themselves, the best rewarded, that shall invite mine intent. Yeah, no thanks. No fucking thanks. What about this? I don't have the key for that room. Okay. I'm just looking for the generator. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Observation 8, 4th of May, 1987. Dr. Newton's log. Having studied the subjects for the last week, they don't appear to be active or conscious all of the time. They seemingly have periods of slumber, but they don't lay down. It's almost as if they lay dormant. This goes against what we've learned or assumed so far. We expected, <laughs> I expected them to behave like they would have previously. We've given them comforts. They would hopefully recognize them, but it seems that they either don't remember or completely disinterested. Another observation to note is that any prolonged exposure to them seems to trigger hallucinations or manifestations. I'm not sure which, but they do seem very real. I've ordered a further separation between the staff and the subjects, but this is something we will need to study further to ascertain how close we can get to the subjects before any adverse effects start. End of log. Oh, I don't like it in here. Just 
trying to find the generator. Okay, I'm back at the stone. Hey. Why is this doorway bricked up? Yeah. Unless you want to bet that that's the maintenance room or where the generator is, right? I'm confused. I'm scared. Okay, books. Lots of books. A lot of noise is happening. I don't care for what the fuck? This is uh, Dr. Waller. The date is the 5th of August, 1987. I can no longer wholeheartedly support Dr. Hessler in his pursuits. The experiments seem to be causing significant trauma to the subjects. They seem to have worsened in all aspects of God. the little they have of their psyche they returned with. Dr. Hessler seems hell-bent on controlling them, but I'm not sure he can anymore. Uh-uh. Or that he ever was in control to begin with. The subjects have become more aggressive, but somehow we see more of them. I I don't know quite how to put it, but it's as if their presence is causing hallucinations. But the staff all seem to have the same hallucination at the same time. What is it? And as much as I can call them hallucinations, they are in fact very real. Dr. Bell was definitely attacked and we all saw it. He even has the marks to prove it, but as quick as it happened, his attacker disappeared again. As far as I'm concerned, Dr. Hessler would be better off sealing that artifact and burying it deeper than this facility, where no human hands can reach it. There are enough security triggers to keep it safe for years after this facility has served its time, but unless we get rid of it properly, that artifact will continue to cause issues here. The only hope that he sees since before these manifestations become more dangerous. Okay. Oh no, I have the key to the. I have the key to the temporary maintenance room. I don't have the key to the generator room. I've been here. Let me out. Yeah, I've been here. I swear I got jumped by that creepy, creepy McCreepenstein. Another painting. Looks like the March of the Damned. Yeah, it does. Great. Hey. So where do I go? I am lost. We're lost. Question mark. Down. What am I looking at? I couldn't tell you. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh 
god. Shit. Oh, 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 We're gonna close this and lock it. No, close it, god damn it. Sorry, boss, but I had to brick up the doorway leading to the second section of this floor. Kevin Nick kept moving the mannequins from in there and putting them behind me while I wasn't looking. They said they only did it the first couple of times, but haven't done it since last Thursday. They wouldn't have set, so it shouldn't be too hard to brick it bring it down. But I think I just need the week off, like we talked about. It is just too creepy down here. We're gonna take all the keys, man. TV room. TV room! Clons of pan. Well, oh, why do I feel like I'm gonna need that? Oh. Room two key. Okay, so it's <laughs> holy shit, people. the fuck? This is the Red King? I've read something about him, but I can't recall. Alright. Yeah, I don't have the key for that one. Okay. Alright. TV room. Oh, okay. Pissed them off, methinks. VHS added to inventory. Stay down. Okay. There we go. Finally. Stay back. Why are you here? You here to set us free? Mm-mm. 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 I'm out. I'm out of this room. Let's say mad writings. saw that. Guess who? Come on. Don't be silly. 
guess who? Mm, uh -uh. It's not possible. You're not her. Why won't you say my name? Don't understand why you won't say my name. Don't say it. You know my name. Say it. Don't say it. Get off me. Say my fucking name, Tobias. Everything's fine, you know? We're all good here. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. I don't think this was just a storage site. Oh no, I don't think it was. There. Room 11. I can't get into the generator yet. Woo! 